Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 6th of November 2019 and the time has just gone 9.55 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is the Aussie Dollar versus the Japanese Yen, the Aussie Yen. And if you take a look <coughs> excuse me, at the price action for the last few months, since late August, uh, we can see that the Aussie Yen has um, been in a fairly solid upward trend. Uh, and in fact, we can see only yesterday, um, the currency pair hit its highest level since late July. So the market's pushing higher. Um, we've seen in the last couple of days, the MACD indicator, indicator MACD histogram um, has remained a bit subdued. So that is a bit of a concern. It could potentially mean in the near term we're in for a, a bit of a pullback. But price is uh, is by far by, by, by far the most important indicator. So we, uh, if if the uh, the price does continue to press on higher from here, we could be looking at testing this region here in around the uh, the um, seventy six spot zero zero metric in round here, which also coincides or close enough to the this red line here, the two hundred day moving average, and the uh, the Aussie yen hasn't gotten up as high as the two hundred day moving average since April uh, earlier this year. Um, if we do manage to kind of press on higher beyond that, and we have, we have a size of break beyond the uh, 76 spot zero zero region, we can then be looking at targeting this area here, uh, up at uh, 78 spot zero zero, and the market hasn't been up at that metric, uh, at that level since early May. As I mentioned, um, if you take a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, positive momentum is still in existence, but it's actually running fairly low. Um, and it's a bit concerning when you see a market pressing higher here, the actual underlying market, there's actually been a steady taper off in positive momentum. It suggests that the bulls are still in control, but they but they're, um, it would appear that they're kind of running out of steam. Um, so it's, but that could be a sign of this. It could be a sign that, we're, that we, we could be in for a bit of a, a correction or a pullback in the near term. Should that be the case, we could see the market fall back to this yellow line here, the one day moving average, and that comes to play at 73, it's about 71. We can see how that metric acted well as both resistance and also support not too long ago, so it makes it likely, it makes it more likely that, that metric will be important in the future. And even if it keeps fall below that, this blue line here, the 50 day moving average, which acted as support back in Ju July and resistance in September, uh, might act uh, also act as support. And should we see a, a move to the downside? And that metric comes into play at 73, spot 43. And it's only really if you have a size of the break below this zone here, the early October lows in around just south of 72. It's only really if we have a size of break below that, because then we begin to think, you know what, maybe the upward move from August uh, has come to an end and we're going to fall back into the wider downward trend. And should that be the case, we could be then looking at retargeting this area here down at the uh, kind of psychologically important 70 metric. Now, if you are going to be trading the Aussie yen, uh, it's also worth keeping an eye on what's going on uh, at other um, crosses. <clears throat> so keep it, so take a quick look at the euro yen. So we're kind of testing is what's the, what's the broad sentiment in the um, in the Japanese yen. We can see here on the euro yen, the euro has also been making steady headway against the, the Japanese yen uh, since, since August. Uh, in fact, only not too long ago, uh, the the, Auss the euro yen hit a level last seen in July. Uh, so, so once again, we can see the um, there's weakness. Uh, in, the, in the Japanese yen, and if we take a quick look at what's going on on the uh, on the U U.S. dollar, we can kind of gauge what's the kind of broad sentiment in the U.S. dollar. So now let's just take a quick look at the U.S. dollar versus the Aussie dollar. We're going to see what this kind of sentiment in sentiment is in the Australian dollar. So we can see here um, since. Early October, we've seen a, a, a steady push higher in the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. And in fact, uh, the Aussie dollar um, very recently hit a level last seen in July. So the Australian dollar is moving higher against, against the uh, both the, the Japanese yen and also the US dollar. And we can also see that the um, there is weakness uh, in the Japanese yen. The, the, the Japanese yen uh, is weak against, against the euro and it's also weaker against the, um, the Australian dollar. So we can be more confident... Um, but this kind of upward trend we're seeing in Aussie yen is going to continue. Obviously, there are no guarantees, but the, but, but the market security moving in the same direction. Now, if you are going to be trading um, the Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen, keep an eye out for on, Friday, on the early hours of Friday, uh, the Reserve Bank of Australia, who maintained interest rates 
uh, earlier this week as expected. Uh, they will announce the uh, monetary policy statement uh, on the early hours of, uh, of Friday mor- Friday's morning. That could c- 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 give us a better in- in- insight into what the uh, the Reserve Bank of Australia are thinking. Uh, as also, we're keeping an eye on what's going on with the US-China trade story. Um, that's obviously been more recently we've been hearing positive sounds out of that so we've seen some european and u.s stock markets hit all time either hit hit, a, you know, hit either say decade highs or multi-year highs or in the case of u.s stock markets some of them have had all-time highs so that, that's been very much a risk on sentiment and the japanese yen uh usually does better in a, in a risk off sentiment so if you see a reversal uh in the u.s china tr- trade sentiment and we see stock market is tumbling we might see additional funds flow back into the Japanese yen, which could push some downward pressure on the Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you for listening, and thank you very much.